at uh, the uh, number three right there. That's Team Stanford. There is Virginia. Don't want them hit. The idea is <laughs> to avoid them. But they, there will be 37 vehicles in all uh, out there just you know, making obstacles for these vehicles to have to do. The number 32, Victor Tango. It is a... Uh, Odin. 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 It's a Ford Escape Hyper. Charles Reinholz, the team leader. They participated in the 04 and the 05 Grand Challenges. And as you can see, they've got a lot of sponsorship. Now that's the first turn right there. You can see from up above. Now the vehicle behind them, we should probably explain what that vehicle is actually doing back there. Yeah, okay. So that vehicle is a safety vehicle. And inside of it, they've got a precision driver, but they've also got someone with a safety kill switch. And if they see that there's a, a situation being created where the robot might be going out of control or or anything else that, that might cause a safety hazard, they can stop it in its tracks immediately before any damage happens. Now look at the speed here. This is the first traffic circle, and I'm, I'm impressed with how fast that uh, Odin's going. That's right, and you know, again, no one is in it. Odin is driving itself. I gotta tell you, this, this is absolutely fascinating to me. That is fantastic. So we've got uh, along the top there an array of, it looks like, sick LIDARs, uh, as I Okay, named the company 2D LiDAR or along the top. You know, that gives you an idea just how, how good a turning radius that is. Take a look on second mission already, the 32. Virginia Tech. And they are they're looking. In, they're looking for a parking space. They're looking for parking. And, and out, look at that. Yeah, that's great. And out here, you know, your uh, LiDAR isn't going to give you very much information because everything's flat and the lines are simply painted on the ground. Out where you're at. It's actually pretty mild. There's a gentle breeze. It feels quite good. It's getting a little warmer out here. Well, good. Why don't you come back here and get blown out of the tower with us then? Because <laughs> it's, it's taking our papers and showing them or shoving them all over the place. Yeah, it's blowing the leaves off the trees around here. This well, it shouldn't affect things other than for the dust that you were talking about. I, I think the robots won't care. All right. Well, we'll keep updating on that. Speaking of updates, right now we're going to turn to the top of the hour and turn it over to Amy Gutierrez. Amy? Not doing a different mission would randomly meet up with another, but now that there are fewer bots, you're seeing fewer traffic jams happening. And again, this is all intentional. So if they come in at different times, it's not necessarily an indication of who is ahead of whom. It's just that they have completed a longer mission. You know, it's, it's just incredible to watch going, what, what's going on here. I can't uh, overemphasize how important this is. Yeah, it is. It, it, and I hope that anybody that's on the web and uh, thinks we're shilling, uh, we're not. I mean, <laughs> this is absolutely astounding. And here comes Odin from Virginia Tech getting ready to make the turn <laughs> and we will now have three official finishers of the Urban Challenge here in 2007. Congratulations Virginia Tech, Team Victor Tango. Odin is just about to cross the finish line. You hear the applause by everybody behind us. And there Dr. Tether waves the flag that's an official finish to charles reinholz and al wicks and uh, his entire crew remember these are graduate students undergraduate students former graduate students uh, what a tr